Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited to get started to decorating some tables with you guys. When you hop on here, tell me hello and tell me what you guys are doing um, on this Thursday evening. And welcome to my home. I'm super excited to do this. Um, we have, I have lots of things that I wanna go over with you guys. If you have any questions at all, leave them below and Lexi will let me know. And if you like something, give me a heart, let me know. <laughs> if you have any questions though, do leave them below. Um, we'll try to answer them as we get started because we have tons of stuff to go through. And this is my lower level in my home, my um, basement. I would like to say my basement, but that sounds kind of, um, I don't know, just kind of dingy or something. I don't know, I don't like that. I don't like that word. So this is the lower level in my home. And this is the color that I was talking about on my um, Tuesday Talks with Tabitha on Wednesday. <laughs> now this is the navel color and I absolutely love, love, love this color. It is so pretty. Um, even in this lower level, it's so pretty and it's so warm and inviting. And this is kind of a smaller area. This used to be a bedroom and we knocked out the walls here and we put this dining room table. And I absolutely love it because we really stay down here, I would say, probably about 85 to 90% of the time. We cook upstairs and we come down here to this lower level. So this is a really cool place to decorate for us. Um, and I'm gonna show you kind of what we do in this area. And I'm gonna kind of show you an informal way of decorating and then kind of a little bit of formal if you wanted to go a little formal down here. But welcome to my home and welcome to my lower level. Okay, when we get started, guys, this is one of the things that I wanted kind of to tell you about down here it's kind of a little more narrow so this table here um, helps us basically kind of in this narrow area it has two um, benches on each side and then these two chairs what I'm going to decorate is on each side so this is kind of an informal area here so what I'm going to show you is kind of an informal way I absolutely love 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 a pop of color you know if you ever follow me or you follow me very much you're going to know that I love color and color is a, especially the, through the holidays it's just really fun to have a color a pop of color and if you got my fall box you have seen this color okay guys I know you have because I, I sent this out in our fall box as a throw and now we have it in a runner and so it is absolutely gorgeous as I was decorating this down here this was this is just gorgeous it's so pretty and it is so pretty even with the navy but this is what I wanted to show you I put this all the way down this whole entire table here and this is a harvest table I'm going to show you one of my tricks okay if you're in my elegant community you see this a lot I love branches and and we have tons of trees outside so I'm always telling Jason to stop and pick up that branch and pick up that and, and then he'll go and what he does is he'll pick them up and he dries them out for me and what that means is is we take them off and we make sure that they're dry sorry we're doing laundry <laughs> It's just a normal household. Um, and so what he does is we pick up the branches in the, in the um, yard and then we let them dry out. And then he goes by and he takes all of the leaves off for me. And so they look like this. And then he lets them outside and in the wind and the rain and all the things until they're really dry. There's no bugs. I make sure that there's no bugs. Listen, I get this asked all the time. You're gonna see upstairs too because we're gonna take you upstairs to the dining room. I get asked this all the time. Are you afraid to put branches from your yard? No, I've done it for years. I, I totally recommend it. I've never had an infestation or anything like that. Thank you, knock on wood. I've never had anything like that. So I just, this is basically what we do. We just dry them out and we use them and I'm gonna show you why we use them. There are the best and inexpensive way to give yourself height and different things like that, especially in floral arrangements and things. So I showed you this one, but I've already kind of did some of the work for you. So I laid this out really pretty like this and they can kind of, you know, I mean, they're a branch. So when you're laying them out, you kind of want to, you can um, just make sure that they're kind of flowing with the thing that you're thinking of. When I'm decorating, I want to just kind of leave these two chairs by themselves. I'm just kind of looking at this like if you were going to decorate your table for the holidays and if you had like a buffet style um, is how you're doing this this is how you would decorate it and this is kind of what I would do so what you do is you just this is two different branches and I just picked them up out of the the um, the yard or we're basically Jason's little stash for me and because he's been drying them for me because he knew I had this so I just kind of do this. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of different things. If you're a runner, I hear this a lot. I don't, my runner's short and it doesn't go 
all the way down. If it doesn't, then just squeeze all this in. All you have to do is just move this in. See, just like that. That's all you have to do. I kind of want it to be really grand and formal, this one, um, just to kind of show you. But if you want it to be on a smaller scale because you really want this on your dining room table, guys, you can definitely, definitely scale this way back and do it on a smaller scale. I'm just trying to show you in a really grand way. Okay, are you ready for this? So, you can definitely do this. You can, you can put them in like this. You can give yourself height. There's all kinds of different ways, and I'll kind of go into that when we start decorating. Okay, this is the base. So you put your color down, which I love, and then you put your branches down. Just kind of stagger them however you want. See how there's different heights and stuff? So, you got it. My very favorite garland. If you were on my last workshop, um, you guys have found out that this is like my very favorite, um, very favorite um, garland. And I'll tell you why. One of the reasons why is because this goes all the way from pretty much um, fall all the way to spring. And I can put this out and I love it. And the pine cones are pretty. And it just has this wavy, nice, I, I don't know, fullness to it. It's got lots of volume. I just love it. So I'm going to show you how to put this on your table. And so before you do that, just do exactly what I'm doing. This is this literally came out of the box just like this. And so this is what it's going to look like um, when you get this, uh, when you receive these. So you just kind of fluff them is what I say. And you just kind of want to give them a really good tug. They're all on wire, so you're not going to hurt them at all. So I'll kind of hurry this process so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, Lexi, if you're, she's going to tell me if you guys have any questions. So far, you shouldn't really, I can't imagine you do. So tell me, where are you guys from? A lot of you guys already started telling me where you guys are from. And a lot of you guys are, can't believe I'm from a very small town of 750 people, right? Somebody said, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that. And I said, yeah, not a very big town. We've got big towns around us, but. Okay, so this is how this goes. What I would do is I just lay this right in there and look how pretty that looks. And definitely on the end, when you're laying them flat like this and kind of up and around, when I say that flat, you if it has a big hump in it, who cares? Just leave it. It'll be okay because I'll show you the next level of this. You can kind of mess with them a little bit, but really, it doesn't really matter. If your branch is going up, I think that's even prettier because we want this to look like it's kind of growing in nature, okay? We don't want it to lay flat. I think that's the number one things that people do with their garlands is they lay them flat and then it doesn't, it, it just doesn't look like it's really growing out there in nature and that's what we want to do. The very ends where it has that, I just wrap one around it and do it like that. And you want to leave those guys um, because when you're hanging them, that really does help you, those little hooks down there. Okay, so hopefully my jewelry doesn't get caught in this. One thing I am going to tell you, if you're wanting to scale this way back, like half of this, you can cut this. This is all wire. All you have to do, well, I think I have my wire cutters here. I was going to show you. You have, they might be on the other side. You can cut this in half, and it's not going to hurt this garland. I do it all the time. I do it for like big, little, smaller mantles and things like that. I'll cut them in half so you can use half of them. Um, and just cut it. And basically, it's not going to hurt it. It's all wired, and you can just kind of use half of it instead of all of it. But look how pretty that is. It's already got a fullness to it, and it's already starting to take place. So that's the first thing that you do. It's pretty, but we're gonna make it gorgeous, okay? So the next thing that you do is candles, candlesticks. And I think that this is so important, guys, because when you're, when you're doing table settings and things like that, there's nothing prettier than a set of candlesticks. Um, when you're doing things like this that's kind of wispy and kind of out there, and kind of just growing in nature. You really want some sturdy ones, and these are really kind of, they're, they're thicker and they're heavier, but they'll definitely uh, stand the test of time here. So what you want to do is kind of just, just like right in here, I'll have Lexi get in there close. You basically just want to kind of just put them right in there, kind of wrapping around there. You just want to kind of guide them right into there. There's no right or wrong, wrong to this, but you just kind of want to just kind of snug them right into those branches and stuff like that. Kind of like if they were growing in nature. Okay, I have two more, and there's a set of three here, and they're all different heights. So the last thing you want to do is just put them real close together. Since we have this big table, I'm going to put one 
And what I try to do is do opposite sides. So since this is on this side, the next one I want is kind of in here. And so since it's right there, I just move the branches. Kind of move them around just so that you know. Someone asked where you get these garland. This garland, you can get it from me tomorrow. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned. This is Tabitha's favorite garland. And I got more of it in. Last time we sold out really, really fast. And I got more in. So you got to come back to the boutique tomorrow to get some of this pretty stuff that I'm showing you. Not everything's for sale, but a lot of it is. Okay, so we put one on this side, one on this side. So the next thing I do is move one right down in here, okay? So it's kind of like you're just going cattywampa every back, back and forth. And what this does, guys, is it holds all of this stuff kind of in place. Um, it, it really holds everything kind of, kind of in its little place there. See how it's hard to even move it now. So, which is a good thing because, you know, people get kind of crazy and, you know, you never know if you have a cocktail or two and you don't want people <laughs> taking off the table, right? Okay, so there's that one. I do have an extra one because this is extra long. So like again, this I'm wanting to do this really dramatic for you guys. I'm gonna set this one down here. And if you're doing this, I really like to have two tall ones at the end and then some small ones. So then you have a staggered look. If that makes any sense at all, that is super pretty. That's kind of what you're trying to achieve. Um, and like I said, we can kind of keep moving these around if you have to, because we want it to look like those candlesticks are just kind of just floating there. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so far we really see how pretty this is. Now, I will tell you that this table was like, a, once again, it was made to be more narrow because most tables are a little wider than this, but this one is much more narrow than normal. But you can definitely get a table, and I'll show you, or a plate here, to be able Sorry. to sit. Sorry. <laughs> Bless you, Lexi. Um, to be able to sit here, um, you can, you'll be able to do that. So. And even if you have some things in the way, all you have to do is just move it. Look, they're just on wire. So I, the biggest thing is, is just the look of that. And see how pretty that would be from both angles. This is a really a, an important thing is to make sure that you walk clear around your table every time you're doing this, just to make sure you're getting everything kind of covered. But it's okay if you see some of the sticks, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you what we're putting up next. Okay, so these are the pretties. I'm gonna kinda set them, set them right here, down here. Okay, so the next layer that I want to put on, some of you guys were in the, old, the um, last um, workshop. Oops, they're falling all over. If you were in the last workshop, you've seen some of these. We've got these back in because these are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you how to use these picks are they not gorgeous look at this they have that fall color and all the things and what i love about these picks is they're big the leaves are big and when you go to like michael's and hobby lobby and all those places you don't really find places and, and picks like this so these are back in and they're absolutely gorgeous now i'm going to tell you a little secret about this when you're sticking these in to really um to really make this look like a foliage, I always go on the end and kind of shove them in. Not like that. Don't break your leg. But just like that. And what it does is it makes it give it, it gives it that fullness, kind of like a stick. And the great thing about this stick is that you can wrap it around. See how you can wrap that around? I hope you guys can see that. I'll kind of do it. See, so I, I put it in this way and then I'm wrapping it around so that it won't move. See, and now it's sturdy. So you could totally wrap it around. And that's the great thing about the sticks is it holds it in place for you. Isn't that beautiful? And this is how you start layering in these picks. And don't, don't um, feel like, oh my gosh, it's not perfect, it's not this. If there's no rhyme or reason to this, guys, trust me, if I can do this, you can do this. It's, it's super simple, it's super easy. And the great thing about picks is to make sure that they have wire with them. And all these picks and all these garlands should have wire. And the one number one reason for that is so that you can make them look like they're growing in nature. So see how pretty that is? So let's put a couple more. Here's another one. Make sure when you get them, you fluff them out once again. Um, and you can add any colors you want. Um, some of the picks last um, time we had were red. If you wanted to add red, you could definitely do whatever colors. 
I'm just kind of doing these colors because I think they're so pretty and I love, love, love this. Um, what am I trying to say? This orange color, this runner. Thank you, Lexi. This runner. Um, and it's just so fall. It just looks like a fallish kind of thing. It looks really good. Okay. So you can always kind of bend them and stuff. It's not going to hurt them. Whatever you got to do. Once again, this is kind of in the middle. So I always just kind of stick them down and around there and just kind of give them a good tug. Just kind of like this. If you see a blank spot like this was, kind of stick them down in there. And see how this is sticking out? Just fold it down and around there, see? And now it's kind of, and it just hides them. The good thing is, they're all bendable. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing that and you're gonna keep keep putting all those, those see how it's just kind of layering these in here. Now this is three for this real tall one. But the great thing is, is if you put this on a smaller scale, I think you'd only need maybe one or two on each end, which that would be a little bit more um, easier for you to get. And then these little guys, I always say, make sure you put these, they're always gonna be straight. Make sure that they're bent because they're supposed to look like sticks growing in nature too. So, okay, so you kind of got that thought. And you kind of gotta just make sure that they're bent and they're doing all their things. Isn't this lovely? And this is super simple. And what the great thing is, is you can get this ready before. You could leave this up now. You can definitely leave this up and put this as a centerpiece. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So pretty. Um, you can add whatever else you want to it. I mean, there's so many things and layers you could put into this. I just think that is just stunning. I'm hoping you guys can see it from that side. I always, always, always step back and take a look and make sure that you can see all of the different layers from both sides. Can you see that, Lexi? Okay. Okay, so that's the first layer, and I think that's starting to get really cool and really pretty. Um, how simple is that? Just so pretty and simple. Like I said, that's just gorgeous right down the center of it. And once again, you have plates. You know, if you have your plates down here, you'll be perfect. Okay. Another favorite pick of mine is this little guy. I never say these right. They're in two different colors. It's called gray and brown, I believe. I don't know why they say that. It's kind of a white, if you ask me. And then this is like iridescent. It's like a kind of purplish uh, iridescent. They're absolutely perfect. And this is like one of the very favorites for fall. It's called Silver Dollar, um, Silver Dollar, garland or something like that. I don't know. Silver dollar. I never can say that though, but this is like one of the best ones that they had. They got them back in. So she gave me what they had and I was super excited. But look at this. Seriously, this is, this looks just like a branch there. See how that looks? I love this little pick and it has the little, um, acorns on them. Um, look at this and I love how it just kind of flies out, but look at the colors on there. Isn't that pretty? So these I have used and used and used. They're just so pretty. But look at what it does. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it gives it such volume, so easy. So we're gonna put a bunch of these in there as we get through. And once again, when you get them, make sure that you fluff them. You fluff, 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 because that's what you gotta do. Oh, I know what this is called. Isn't this called, um, Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Yes. I just, it just hit me. It's kind of my brain. That's just kind of, I've got too much on my, my head. Isn't that pretty? That is just so pretty. So you just, what I do is I step back, I see where they need something and then that wall wall. Look how pretty, look how much full foliage that gives it. They want to know if you sell these picks. Yes. These picks will be for sale tomorrow. Um, and I absolutely love, this is so, when I was decorating my house, these have just come in so handy because they're not real big, but they're just, they just give such, I don't know, just such a foliage and it's so pretty with this little stick. See how that little stick just comes up and gives you that foliage. Oh, I just love it. Okay, so I think it needs one right in here. I think I'm gonna go with this color actually. I'm gonna try to, I think it needs it. 
I don't, I can't see on your side. Usually I go on each side, but I think maybe one right in here. If I can kind of get it in there. And once again, you got to make sure that you kind of hide them a little bit, but look how pretty that is. I just love how these stick up and wait until we get the candles on there. Ugh, be gorgeous. Okay, one more. What do you think, Lex? Point it out here, right in here? Yeah, I think it needs a little foliage in here too. But this is my favorite because of these little sticks that stick up. It's like they just are so pretty. Just wait, I got another little secret to show you. That is gorgeous. That is just so pretty. It just gives it so much like, voila! <laughs> okay, I'm always singing and doing something, so I'm kind of crazy like that. Okay, so I want to do I'm just quirky. I'm just quirky. Um, so when you get this kind of in here and you're kind of getting your groove for it and you're getting all your little garlands, people always ask me, how many was this? So this was clear across the whole table and we did four of these little silver silver dollar ones, um, the eucalyptus. I'm going to say that. Eucalyptus. There was four of those and three of these big um, leaf ones. Um, there was three of those. So, and then one garland, one six foot garland. So that's pretty good. And then we have um, four candlesticks. So that's perfect. But I gotta show you what one of my very favorite things. I haven't seen it this year. We came across it and we were like, oh, we gotta have that. That is so cool. Well, maybe I got two things to show you. Okay, first off, this. This is like life changing, guys. I thought, what is this? What is this? Okay, this, and I've been messing with it so many times. That this, it looks kind of bad on this end but it is ribbon. This is ribbon, but look at this. And it's got a wire in it, and look, you can wire it back up, you can keep going, but look how this is, and you can even cut it. The great thing about this, you could use it over and over and over, but look how pretty this looks, just sitting there. To me, it looks like, you know, kind of like those little things that you get out there in the, um, like when we went to the pumpkin patch, this is all we had all over us when we went in the maze, the corn maze. So it's almost like that stuff that you get out the corn. I don't know what it's called. The, the shucks, stalks? The stalks, yes, the shucks, the stalks, whatever you wanna call it. So you could cut this. I, I was just thinking this today. I was sitting here thinking about this and I think you could cut this and then take this one and then put it down here. So you, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that so you can see it. Hang on. So this one's mine, I've been using it. My handy dandy scissors. I'm gonna cut it right here. Um, just right here. It's, oh, I forgot it's got wire. Uh, hang on. There's my wire cutters. Well, that was loud. Sorry, guys. Wow, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so this will be selling tomorrow. Um, there is, I can get it out. But look how pretty that is. It just is so pretty. So let's get this one down here. This is really, I must have really got this kind of going. The great thing is, is it's called ribbon, but you can definitely use it year after year. But wouldn't this be so pretty on your mantle too? Oh, this is really addicting. I know, this whole, this whole decorating thing can just be like, it never ends, literally. Let me get that here. Oh, we got this in there tight, didn't we? Okay. But you know, I kind of like it when it's kind of like that, or it's kind of like not perfect, because it kind of really goes with the whole theme of this. I love that. It's kind of like those uh, corn stalks. Thank you, Lexi, for your help with that. So, I kind of want it to kind of come down and around. But they call it ribbon, and it's on a wired ribbon. Isn't that pretty? But look at that. It's just so pretty, and it gives it such a fullness. I love it. Okay, so I love that. I'm loving how this is looking. I don't know what it's looking like on your side, but you could even definitely do it a little like that. So pretty, so foolish. Okay, and like I said, if, if something is in your way and it's, and it's bothering you, all you have to do, it's all on wire. You just kind of move it down and around. Okay, so the next thing that I found absolutely love. I keep finding all these. This stuff is all up here. Okay, these little pods. Is this not the coolest thing? 
Um, they're like real pods, but is this not the coolest? Look at the size of that. And I can't remember what they're called, but something about pods. Lexi has nothing. She says she's got nothing. She's got nothing. I got nothing. But is this not the coolest thing? And look what it adds. It just adds a realness to it. I just loved it. When I was there, I found these, these, and I mean, I'm, I'm keeping some of this stuff. I'm telling you myself. I even told Jason, I said, I gotta buy some of this on myself. Okay, this, look at this. You know, when I was looking at all of the um, outdoor stuff, these were in all of the fall stuff with all the mums and all the stuff. Um, I just love this. Look, <laughs> Gracie goes, or Addie goes, Mom, that's an artichoke. I said, I know. She goes, huh. But look how real that is to feel it. It's, it's like heavy and the tips of it, it's just so pretty. And it looks real, it looks fresh and real. So what I would do is honestly, I would tuck it up and around here, just like I find a little spot and tuck it like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. And you could definitely do more um, uh, acorns. You could do all kinds of different things to add to this to the fullness of it. I mean, we've got tons of stuff, but I love these little pods. We, I had these um, last time, but I didn't, we didn't sell them because we didn't have enough, but I put them on my mantle and tons of you guys said, oh my gosh, those are so cool. So I love these little guys. So this is another layer that you guys could add to them, but they add, look at that. Isn't that the coolest? Because it adds the height to things. I just love this stuff that adds the realness to it. It's supposed to look like a, a branch, but it's on its own thing. So look at this. I'm gonna think I'm gonna take my ribbon up first. Look at this, add this to it. Those are super cool. And what I like to do is do this with them. So look at the height that it gives you. It's just like you can just keep layering and layering and layering. But look how pretty that is. And what you do is you want to just make sure when you're doing this, guys, that it, see how I'm kind of messing with these, making sure they're popping up and around. Make sure that this is coming around there. Just kind of keep messing with them so that that stuff is all layered. But look at the height that that gives. I love things that give you height. But I love this tablescape because if you have two men, there's kind of, oh, this. Thank you, Lexi. She said, Mom. If you have two men sitting here, I'm going to kind of fold this a little bit better. Great thing is, is it's wired and you can do it better. Um, if you have two men sitting here, they can still come in here um, and sit down and enjoy a dinner, uh, a cocktail, whatever you're wanting to do. You can sit here and have a visit where some of that stuff is so tall and it's so high. Jason always complains. He's like, it's hitting my head and I can't see across the table. So this is so pretty and it's full and it does its job, but yet you can still have a conversation across the, the table, which I love. Now, once again, this is a little more narrow. So if you had a normal size table, you could definitely do this. And you could definitely scale this down a little bit. You don't have to go clear across the whole table, like me. I'm doing it a little more dramatic for you ladies and, and gentlemen, whoever's in here. And so, oh, here's another one. So you would definitely want to put these little pods or these little berries. They call them berries. Green berries. But um, you definitely want to put them on each end. So two of these, I would say. But you can definitely scale it down on a smaller scale. And... Uh, See what goes. I probably should have put this in first, but I forgot it. This is how my life is when I'm decorating everywhere. Then you have to go back, kind of get it in there. But the good thing is, guys, this is all wired, so you can just kind of stick it in there, wire it in. All this stuff is just makes it so pretty. And like these little pods, oh, they're just so pretty. It just makes it gives it a real look is what I like about it um, and like I like okay so for these little pods one of the things I, I don't like about doing um, artificials like sometimes you'll come down here and you'll just want to do a little setting like look how pretty that is isn't that just gorgeous 
Isn't that just beautiful how you can set those two together? And it just makes this cute little setting. It's just gorgeous. So I think those pods really serve their plate really, truly well. Okay. So let's put the candles on there. See, let's light our candles. See what we've got going here. Okay, so we've got our candles going. Um, let's see where the other candle is. I have to kind of balance them off here. Um, okay. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Now, if you have a pod that's in the way, leave it. Leave it in the, I think it looks pretty when it's kind of wrapped around there. If you have this kind of stuff wrapped around here, kind of in the in the way, I think it's pretty when it's up and around the candles. I think it makes it, gives it a real look. I think it gives it that clarity and that real, I don't know, there's just something about it I just love. Okay. Now, you know I love plates. You could add a little plate if you have a plate that, you know, is something of your grandmother's that you used and, or something that's more, um, I don't know, you know, something that's really important to you. Let's see, I'm changing these out as I'm looking at them. Okay, something that's more important to you. You could add a plate in there and nestle it in. You could put something like that. Um, this is something I really love. I found this little plate and I think it would be super cute if you were just leaving it. I love, love, love found these plates. Are these not darling? And look how cute that would be if you had it sitting on an easel right up against this. Isn't that so cute? Someone asked if you'll be selling the candles. Uh, the candles? No, we won't. We didn't get those in. I'm sorry. If we do get them in, I'll let you know. But this time we did not get those in. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they beautiful? And they are battery operated and they are on a timer. So if we do get them in, I'll let you, I'll let you know, I'll announce it. But okay, so this is like a plate and you could put it on an easel or anything like that. And it's just gorgeous with the greenery. I love that. But tonight I want to show you, look at him. For you turkey lovers, I'm a turkey lover. At, at Thanksgiving, I'm about a turkey. You know, I don't know. Something about a turkey just makes me feel like Thanksgiving's here. I don't know. So he is super cute right up in here, nestled in here. And isn't he darling? And he gives a pop of color. I just love him. So, and he, I love the texture that he gives and stuff like that, especially with all of this greenery and all the texture. It's just super pretty. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start setting the table here. And as we go here, if you want a little more formal look, if you're not just going for paper plates, and that kind of thing, and going more for, more for a buffet. I'm gonna show you more of a formal look. Um, this is something you can definitely do and have ready for your guest. Um, I will tell you that you, this is kind of more narrow, so I'm gonna set it for you so you guys can see it. Look at these darling little turkeys, they match. It's a place setting. So, you know, a card holder here, so let your people know, and look at these. Are these not super cute? These are darling. These are little chargers um, uh, for your glass. So I'm going to start setting this here and kind of tell you what I think. I think something like this would be super pretty for a charger. And I love plates like this. I've had these for years. This is something I would definitely set. Um, keep kind of doing this. You don't necessarily have to do a charger. I'm gonna do it both ways so you guys can see this. Now, if this is in your way, once again, all you have to do is just move them. But my table is a little more narrow than most tables, so rest assured, okay? I like to do these, so that's how I'm gonna set those. Oh, well, here's my glasses. Depending on what you're serving, like we're having lots of cocktails in this serving, and So there's that, and that's how you would set that. Kind of like this. And look at these darling little little owls. I, they have a, we have them in four different styles. Oh, they are super cute. And this is the kind of stuff that I think just makes everything very cutesy and unique on your dining room tables. 
Um, when you add little, um, I always talk about this in my elegant community, when you add cutesy things, this is the stuff that makes people just really love it. So this is the kind of stuff that really goes good. Just setting that around. You can set them on your table. If you're just decorating your table for pretty, because a lot of women do that, just, um, just so people can see it. Um, once again, this is kind of narrow. I may, may not, depending on how narrow this is, use a charger or not. This one I don't need. Um, I guess I do. I'm dropping things. I drop and break things more than I actually do. I'll be honest. If you've ever had me decorate your house, you'll know that. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's keep moving forward here. Here's all these. You'd have to move quite a bit down. Oh, I only got all this on there first and foremost. I'm gonna set him down right by him. I think that's super cute. Isn't that darling? You can even put him at the top, looking at your plate. That's super cute, isn't it? Okay, I think with this table, I'm not gonna use chargers because I just don't think it's gonna work for me because it's kind of narrow. But I love these. I think they're so pretty, especially if you're serving hot cocoa or you have a cocktail or something like that. I'm gonna set him on. Moscow mules. Mules, <laughs> yes, anything, anything, anything you, that you want. Um, that is darling. And oh, I've got these little guys. Just put this. There we go. Where is my. There we go. Sophie, our dog is sitting over here growling. <laughs> She's like, what is she doing? She's always doing something. I think that's super cute, guys. Look how pretty that is. So now it takes it to a formal look. We, oh, I gotta show you guys these. Oh, we're done. Look at these pretty napkins we got in. Oh, they're so pretty, guys. Look at these. Aren't those gorgeous? They have a little sparkle to them, if you can see that. I don't know. I love these. So look at this. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now you've taken this tablescape from an informal look, if you were doing a buffet. Thank you, Renee. To a, what'd you say? <laughs> She said, I'm a great camera person and assistant. Yay! She is. <laughs> She's very good. What would I do without her? Um, so you've taken your table from this side, an informal to a very formal look. And I did it really quickly. I know that you can whip it up like that um, at night. And that's really, honestly, that's this one. So what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Now, honestly, you could leave this tablescape up until after Thanksgiving, until you're ready to do your Christmas cakes. But I will tell you a little secret. You could leave the candles, the candle uh, holders, this garland and everything. You could leave that really until spring. And uh, you'll just have to keep watching and keep going. And I'll tell you, I have to, I'll show you how you can keep this going, this whole look with the different picks. And we do this um, pretty much up until spring. Um, because this garland really can take you from really fall, early fall, all the way into spring. Someone asked where you got your napkins. Um, you can get them from us. You can get them from us tomorrow at the boutique. So we've got lots of things to show you tomorrow at the boutique. So you have to keep coming tomorrow at 7. Okay, we're going to go upstairs. And I'm going to show you our upstairs. I'm going to take in my drink. And I'm going to show you our upstairs. So come on along. There's Sophie, girl. <laughs> Yeah, say hello to Sophie. Say hello to Sophie. Okay, here we go. My family's gonna move downstairs as we go upstairs to our dining room up here. Everything's looking good. Sorry, I'm all that's all right. Addie's gonna help me get this going. Addie's gonna be my little helper because everything's in the kitchen, so I'm gonna move it in here. So here we go. Gracie, what? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you. No, my new shirt. Oh, your new shirt. Oh, okay, she got a new shirt today. She's excited to tell you that. Okay, okay, for this dining room, this is my dining room. Welcome to my dining room. I have to leave my things here. I will tell you that um, this dining room is used 
pretty much when we entertain, basically. Um, you know, holidays, um, when we have guests and things like that. And I love, 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 love to decorate this dining room table. We've ha we decorate, one of the biggest things that I love to do, as you can see with the tablescape, which I haven't gotten this one, but I love to make big, brilliant things. And everybody always tells me. There's the one she's talking about, yeah. that we always hit our heads on. This is, this is like, it's two stories up here, and that's the staircase that goes clear across my house. And this is like, like this is the big, this is my entryway, and I have this, and everybody's like, oh my gosh, look at that. And so this is like my big floral that I do all year, and I kind of change it out different times. This year I did not change it out for this holiday, because I have been doing tons of fall. So I'm going to show you some different things and what I do. But I want to show you a little secret. Once you get a really good stable something for your table, we use a round table up here. Um, I love using it this tray. Um, this is a round table, so I kind of like things that are opposite. So since this is round, I love this oval um, tray. And I found it, and one of the things I love about it is that it's, this is a very formal setting. And in formal settings, I love to use informal things. I know that sounds really crazy and kind of quirky, but it just kind of brings it down to a different level where it's not so in so formal and stiff and like ah uh. so what happens when you do that and you bring metals into that kind of areas it just makes people feel a little bit um, more at ease and i really like that just touches of that in different areas okay so i started doing this and when i started kind of doing my different tablescapes i absolutely love the blue and white that's been kind of my theme since the spring i kind of decorate i decorate my kitchen i do all the different decorating and that has been something that I really have really gotten into. So, when I, which I've always loved all the different colors, but this year I thought I'm gonna do the blue and white and I'm gonna add a pop of orange. So that's what we're gonna decorate today with. I did a floral arrangement for you and I'm gonna show you kind of build this, what we do on this tray. And this is something, like I said, if I wasn't setting the table, I love some of these because this is like a lot of work to kind of get this on. I know, I know you guys don't want to sit here for hours and hours and hours. But when I start setting my table in my, in my dining room here, um, you can leave these things. Like I leave this floral arrangement and I just change out the different things. And it's the kind of the same way with my table. I make tablescapes and I change out the floral arrangements. So I'm gonna put that right back. And trust me, I promise you, I won't take out my chandelier. So I made this table, this this beautiful arrangement this afternoon. I thought I'm gonna whip something different up. And I just love the wispy um, orange and kind of little touches of red, the auburn in it because of the wall color. Oh, and by the way, this is the red bay that I was talking about on my Facebook Live. Um, this is, I have had this um, red bay in my dining room for 15 plus years. I mean, I've just had it in every house and I absolutely love it. It's just a very powerful color. It's just, it makes me happy and I love to decorate with it. So, um, I, I'm, I see, foresee me keeping it. <laughs> um, but I've always thought, I've thought about changing it out to black, but you know, who knows? With me, I may change it out. But when I was doing this um, beautiful flower arrangement, I love magnolia leaves and that is one of the things that I love to start decorating with pretty much about fall time. And then you can go with magnolia leaves all the way into spring. And really, magnolia leaves you can use all year round. So I really want to show you different ways that you can use them. Um, if you're in my elegant community, I will show you how to use this. I literally can use this one floral arrangement and change out the florals and, and change the whole look of this every season. So that's pretty much what I do with this. I keep it, I kept it in this little container because it's white and I love the white. It's kind of fresh and clean. So that's how I came about that. So once I start doing this and I keep this tray, this is kind of a formal setting. So what I want to do is I want to build on that. And one of the things I love to build is figurines. Figurines is one of my main things that will always give you some characters, some, some just some pizzazz, and it just gives everything a life. Um, so when I do that, I'll have Hattie bring you this. Look at this guy. Okay, we sold you guys the foxes and at, at, at our last, I can't even talk, at our last workshop. Is this not ador adorable? Look at this little guy. And he has got the sparkles. He's got the little scarf here. 
pea will go adorable with that fox. If you got the fox, you need this little guy. He'll be in the boutique tomorrow. You're welcome. <laughs> I think he's super cute. He's just adorable. I love this crystal-y thing that he has on the top of him. They are just stinking adorable. These little critters are just my favorite. Not to mention he's cute. Look at him. Okay, so we're going to put him on this. Set him in here. Let's set him right in there. And then the next thing I like to do is I love to add, I love, love, love to add all the pumpkins because it's not really fall until you have a bunch of pumpkins, right? So one of the things that when you're doing a tablescape, once again, you've got to really remember that you need to make sure from all areas that it's pretty. And here is that beautiful blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? So. You kind of nestle them in there. I like to do three pumpkins. Everybody always says um, do things in threes. So always make sure that you, you do that. So like when you're adding pumpkins, do them in threes. Do three different ones. I think you'll be happy with that. That's kind of the rule of thumb with that. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna add a little height to that. Ooh, I like that better. Yeah, that looks better. Told you. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I told you. She, told, she, told, she told me. Okay. Here's another pumpkin. And sometimes you just add a little another one and just a different texture. It just kind of adds to the table. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it starting to kind of come together? Nobody has any questions, huh? Okay. Will you be selling the pumpkins? Ye no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. This pumpkin was from our, um, the pumpkin, this one was from our um, fall box. So if you were in our fall box, like, um, the you know, the Christmas box that I've been talking about, we did a fall box, and those, this one was from our fall box. So if we kind of come across some more pumpkins, I know the pumpkins are absolutely gorgeous. Um, maybe you got to keep following. Maybe we'll have some more. I don't know. Someone just asked if you'd sell the squirrels. Yes, the squirrels we're going to be selling tomorrow in the boutique. Okay, now, guys, I really want to tell you, I really, when I'm doing table space, I really want to make sure that my table and my flowers are pretty from every angle. So, and... Not to mention, from the back side, because you never know. You might be the person sitting in the back and you want something to look at. So make sure that you always add a little something back here as well, because that just makes it really pretty. Um, let's see here, Addie. Um, this lunch is my favorite. It's going on there, too. Okay, and I'll show you. Okay, Addie, can I have the pics, too, please? Look how this green just really pops. I don't know. I love this little artichoke. Mm -hmm. You gotta really play with them. Oh, I want that to kind of tilt too. There we go. There we go. That's why it's there. So, once again, all these little pretty little, um, little picks are so good. Like him. See how it's kind of just kind of nothing in here? This is a great way to just add, well, we want that up under there. This is a great way to add some little pizzazz to this little guy. Looks like he's out there playing in nature. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. We got to add this one. Look at this. I think that looks really good. Love that. And there's just something about this pick that just makes all your stuff just pop. Look at that. Doesn't that, isn't that pretty? It just gives it a really unique look. Oh, I love that. Looks like it's just out there in the pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay, and this is a new pick that I have added to our collection. And this is a wonderful pick because it's the Magnolia pick, kind of like those. It, it's just one of those really big picks. I love it. Um, I think that this will be one of the ones that can really go with you all year long. And you'll probably be seeing me use this one in my house all year long because literally it can go all year. So I am going to add this back here and I'll show you kind of how I do that. Uh, just adding some different things back in the back of it so that you don't see it's not just nothing back here. It's really important. See how I'm just kind of building that up? It's kind of up and around there. So who's ever sitting back here doesn't feel like they're doesn't have anything. It's really important to build a place for every spot that you have. 
in your on your table. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm thinking that's really pretty. And you can always fluff these and kind of put them back, but that's beautiful, huh? Yes, candles, please. We always have to have lots of candles. I know this is a lot of us running around. I hope I'm not making you guys sick. <laughs> okay, let's turn these on. Lots of candles. I decided to go with white candles in here because I think white candlesticks, I had them and I <laughs> love candlesticks. White candlesticks. And I'll tell you one, one secret that I have about buying dishes. Okay, this you wanna hear my, my theory behind this? <laughs> my theory behind buying candles or buying buying lots of different dishes. I am kind of a dish fanatic. Okay, I'll admit it, I have a problem. <laughs> Along with um, all kinds of things like chairs and things like that. But what my goal is and things to tell you when you're a person like me that loves to buy lots of different dishes because you like to set up different things for guests and stuff like that. This is what I'm gonna tell you. Um, I, years ago, was told by a very smart lady, said when you're buying dishes and you're buying a bunch of dishes, um, formally, like if you're getting married or whatever, if you buy, a beautiful set of white dishes you'll never go wrong and so my mother-in-law um, one Christmas my very I think it was like one of, our, one of our first Christmases together she bought me these white dishes and I am here to tell you she was not wrong this dish has went with me so many places and one of the things I love the shape of it I just love 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 the shape but one of the biggest things with it is that it literally goes with every season it can go spring summer uh, Fourth of July, it can go everything. I mean, literally, you can put any dish with it, and it's just stunning. It makes it really pop, and it really goes really well. Like these, we bought these dishes here at Hobby Lobby, and because I really wanted an orange, like a burnt orange, and isn't that just stunning? And look, it's with this very, very formal plate, but then you put that, and then you put this pop of blue. Voila! It's just gorgeous. And then we put these pretty little. Um, pots on top of it. Oh my gosh, it's just heavenly. Um, and so what I do and what I tell people when you're out bargaining shopping, you're out shopping and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that plate because trust me, I have thousands of plates for Jason. He finds them in every little place in Mickey Granite. Just one, it depends on what season I'm in, I want a different plate. Like, like this for instance. I went, I went with the girls antiquing one day it was really cold last fall. No, it was last winter, wasn't it? And we went antiquing, and I'm really into the blue and white, and I found this plate. So what I do, if I find lots of them, what I'll try to do is find one or two, or I'll buy like just a few of the top ones. I won't buy a whole bunch of them, because I just can't store them. I just can't um, literally put any more in my house. So what I'll do is I'll just get a couple of them. I'll just do six or 12 of them, for a place setting and that really helps you so I hope that's helpful for you guys because at least it kind of narrows it down for you but get those plates out and put them on easels and use them that's really important because decorating with them and keeping them out that's really about you know making that homey that homey feel okay someone asked if you have the magnolia leaves to sell yes yes they'll be for sale um, tomorrow Okay, another thing I'm loving, guys, and these are gonna be for sale. And there's not very many of everything, so I'm here to tell you, the availability, you know how product is. Product is really slim, so make sure that you're here and you're, you're wanting to buy tomorrow. These are amazing, look at this. These are literally washable, and look at what they do. This is a placemat. You could use this for every day, and look how pretty that is. Oh, I love these. They're washable, they're, they're like kind of a, I would say a plastic nylon type thing. But I love this. Is that not stunning? Look at that. It's just so pretty. So pretty. When I was decorating this, I thought, oh, those just make this. It just kind of makes these little place settings. So here's, again, those little pop seeds, and we're going to be selling these tomorrow, but we only have a few of these, so make sure you're on there. Um, but look how pretty these, this is. Let's take that right down there with that. I just think that just makes it. It's just so perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Someone asked if you're going to be selling the pretty orange napkins. Yes, yes, yes we are. And we're also going to be selling 
um, the, the navy ones here, right? because everybody's been asking where to get these navy ones that match all the pretty blue and white, so we're going to be selling these as well. And there's some other favorite things that I'll be selling too, um, some napkin holders and things like that, so yay, I'm super excited. I love to sell all the pretty things that I love. Okay, Addie, um, hand me the white dishes, please. You can keep bringing those. And what I love, guys, is if you don't have a lot of napkin um, holders, I'm gonna show you a little trick. What I do is I set my, my dishes like this, and I even if they were just completely round like this, you can set this. This is basically, I just folded my napkins in half like this, and then you just put it down like this, okay? And then you just lay it over and go like this. Same thing with this, kinda like that. Oh, let's get this one right. Okay, Abby, you can hand me that. It's a really pretty and inexpensive way not to get, if you don't have the napkin holders. So lay your first, um, I love, love, love to layer up your plates. So layer your plates. Perfect. And then you layer the next, next one, which is your orange. Someone asked if you're going to have the candlesticks for sale tomorrow that you had downstairs. Yes, yes, those candlesticks are for sale. Aren't these pretty? Look at these. Oh, love that. Love, love, love that. Super pretty. Yeah, it's okay. So I only put two on here just to show you what we do when we only have one or two of a plate that we love because I love these plates. But I wanted to show you what you could do. So what I did is I put them on the two captain chairs, which are the two chairs since we're round here, but you can put them on the two captain chairs, just like this, and then the rest of them, you can just go with a plain, plain blue, blue um, plate. Isn't that kind of cool? So you can kind of intermix your plate and your, and your different dishware. You don't always have to match them. As long as they flow, they go, if that, if that makes sense. You can't hold all these. It's okay, honey. You're doing a great job, Addie. Okay, I think that's really pretty, especially if you're just setting your table just to show, um, just to show off, you know, show it off. Um, this is super pretty. Now, if you weren't setting your table to eat at, you'd definitely leave these jars off. Someone asked you if you had the white candlesticks for sale. No, the white candlesticks are not, they didn't come in, so they're not for sale. Okay, there we go. And then what we do is I always set my largest glass right here on the right hand side. Maybe it's the left hand. Left. <laughs> I always do it on the right. I know I do. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Nope. Backwards. Did I do it? Man, I've been doing this too long today, I think. Yep, it is. It's backwards. See, I just done too many. Okay. And what I try to do is to put your plate further down so that your glasses can set on the charger. Because it's always nice to have a plate that sets down on the chart on your placemat. Especially like if you have your tea and your water and then you have your coffee glass for after dinner. Now, somebody's gonna ask me what these little bowls are. And I love little bowls like this to set, especially in formal settings, because a lot of times you might have, um, a lot of times people will have soup and salads and different things like this. This is a really good place to be able to put for, for uh, anything. You can put anything in these little, they're called berry bowls, um, but you could put your berries in them if you wanted, but we don't, I don't really normally serve the berries. So what I love to put in them is you can put, you can put nuts, you can put um, little mints in there, you can put all kinds of different things, but they're super cute to put right by your plate. So you can, also put crackers or something like that. There's crackers like the round ones that they'll fit perfectly into those bowls. So if you're if you're giving out soup or anything like that, that's a perfect thing to give to put with that. Okay. Okay. Why does this look wrong to me? Okay, I'll keep going. show you the last thing is to put this right by your berry bowls and make sure that that's out out and that's what we'll do right there so if you're serving coffee okay 
Now, I don't put out my dish, my silverware all the time because I think it makes it look a little bit messy, but if you do use your silverware, I'll show you how to do that. Let's see here. What I like to do is this. I usually put the coffee mug up here. Um, I need a large spoon, Addy. Okay. And I put my little spoon here. Thank you. I'll do it like that. You're good, Addy. You, you got everything. So you do it just like this. Oh, did I get that? I got that right. So I put them out like this. And then you don't need that one. And then you put it out just like this. And then we'll always start with your largest. You can scoot it over just a hair. Your largest, your knife, your knife going out. And then your, I love to put the little spoon up there, your bigger fork here, and your smaller fork there. So this would be a formal setting if you were actually serving dinner, of course. But I usually don't put out my silverware because I, I just feel like if I'm just showing off the dinnerware, um, like if I just wanted to set this just to, for pretty, I usually leave those up. I don't know why, that's just me personally. Um, but you can do whatever you would like. So <laughs> you'll have it. And I'll put a picture of, of all of the stuff that we talked about tonight in the workshop. So this is pretty much what we got. And this is where we're at. And I hope that this was super helpful. If you have any questions, is there any questions going on? I hope if you have any questions that you leave them down below. I hope that this was helpful to kind of give you a guide of how you can set your table for Thanksgiving in different areas. No, it's fine. That's I'm not going to use that. And so I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or anything, then let me know. But I will see you guys tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for the Tabitha's Boutique. And uh, I'm going to show you all the cool things that we have for sale. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for being here. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.